Welcome to our YouTube channel. Here recap movie clip. The film begins with a killer named Charles Ray fleeing from a police officer. Several times, the police tries to shoot him. After witnessing all of this, his friend flees. Charles goes into a toy store to hide. The officer shoots him again. Charles realizes he is about to die and falls on the toys nearby. They were good guy. Charles is skilled in black magic, which enables him to transfer a soul to another person. He does his magic by placing his hand inside a doll and transferring his soul into it. As a result, a storm strikes, and the toy shop is struck by lightning, causing it to explode and entirely destroy itself. However, the officer survives the blast, and at the end, the officer finds Charles' dead body. The scene shifts, and we discover a young boy named Andy, who is celebrating his birthday today. He and his mother open the gifts, but he is disappointed because he requires good guy dolls. On the other hand, a friend of Andy's mom informs her that a man is selling a low-wed good guy doll. Andy's mother goes out and purchases the doll. Andy is overjoyed when his mother presents him with the doll. The doll introduces himself as Chucky. Andy's mother was now obliged to work the night shift. She asks her friend to look after Andy at night when he watches television and his mother's friend puts him to bed. She switches off the television. The television was turned on after a while, and Chucky sat in front of it. Andy, according to his mother's friend, is responsible for everything. After Andy falls asleep, Chucky attacks Sandy's mother's acquaintance with a hammer. As a result, she falls from the window and falls on a car, where she dies. When Andy's mother returns, she observes an ambulance and a large crowd of people. She becomes frightened. She pays a visit to Andy, his son. Andy's mother visits the same officer that killed Charles. However, everyone suspects Andy, and Andy finds the doll's footprints. He informs everyone that his mother's friend has been murdered by Chucky doll. Andy informs his mother that Chucky interacts with him and has revealed his real name, Charles Ray. Andy's mother tries to persuade him that he shouldn't be doing all of this. Andy refuses to go to school the next day when his mother drops him off. He joins Chucky on his journey. All of this was done on Chucky's orders. He takes him to his friend's house, who has left Charles at the time, and where he seeks revenge. When he gets home, he turns on the gas stove. His friend hears a noise from the kitchen. He opens the door and shoots, resulting in an explosion. Andy is once again blamed for the death of Charles' friend. Andy, on the other hand, claims that Chucky is behind everything, but no one believes him. Andy was admitted to a psychiatric hospital and stayed there for a few days. When Andy's mother returns home, she finds Chucky's low battery. For several days, he was operating without a battery. She becomes upset and seeks out Chucky to express something. Chucky remains silent and attacks Sandy's mother instead. Later, Andy's mother approaches the police officer and informs him that Andy was speaking the truth. Chucky the toy is alive. He's doing everything by himself. They return to the same man from whom they purchased the doll, and he informs them that he took the doll from a burning shop. After then, the police officer most likely understands and informs Andy's mother that he has killed a killer at this shop named Charles Ray. When the police officer was seated in his car, Chucky strikes another officer who is seated in the same car. The car flips over as a result of his attack, but he shoots Chucky, who is injured and bleeds. Chucky visits his master, from he has learned magic. He claims that he thinks that no one could hurt him now, but he feels pain as a result of the bullet. His owner informs him that he is gradually converting into a human and will continue to do so until he lives in the doll. He informs his master that he couldn't live in the doll's body for the rest of his life. And that he'll have to figure out a method to escape free. His master clearly negates because Chucky becomes an evil man. He also tortures his master there. His master informs him that he must first transfer his soul into the body of someone he is introduced first of. That was Andy. After stabbing his master, he leaves. Andy's mother later arrives and inquires about Chucky with the master. Mater tells Andy's mother everything, including the fact that the only way to kill Chucky is to stab his heart. Later, Chucky approaches Andy, who becomes afraid, while Andy's doctor arrives. Chucky, on the other hand, uses an electric shock to murder the doctor. Andy runs and returns home, but Chucky pursues and reaches out as well. He knocks him out and begins his black magic, but Andy's mother and a police officer arrive and stop Chucky. Chucky attacks Andy's mother and stabs the officer in the foot with a knife. Andy's mother has Chucky imprisoned in a chimney and has asked Andy to burn fire there. Chucky stops him and says, we used to be good friends, but Andy burns the flame. Chucky burns but is still alive and attacks them. Andy's mother fires a shot at him, causing his head to separate from his body. Everyone thinks he's dead now, but he attacks him again. But this time, 
the police officer shoots him in the heart, and Chucky dies, bringing the first part of the film to an end. Now we'll get into the second half of the movie, when we'll learn that two years have gone since Chucky's death. His burnt head was left, but the rest of his body was destroyed, which we saw in the first part. His head is reassembled at a toy company. Because, according to Andy and his mother, Chucky was responsible for all of the murders in the previous part. As a result of this, these dolls have received negative publicity, which has impacted their sales. Because the company's CEO must prove that these dolls are error-free. We also know that Andy's mother was committed to a psychiatric hospital and that no one believed Chucky's story. Andy is staying in a hostel as well. The company's owner arrives at the factory where the dolls were made. The technician is thrown at a distance and dies as a result of an electric shock while he tries to adjust his eyes. They throw the Chucky doll, but still, it comes alive again after this incident. Chucky doll's goal was to get to Andy as soon as possible. In addition, he needed to transfer his soul into his body. Andy, on the other hand, is shown as someone who hasn't forgotten anything about Chucky. His caretaker gives him to a couple to change his surroundings. When Andy arrives, he is greeted by Kyle, their daughter. That lady sends Andy inside a room, and when Andy unlocks a cupboard door, a good guy doll falls, terrifying Andy. The couple tries to persuade him that this is only a doll. The doll is thrown by the lady. On the other hand, Chucky doll appears to have known Andy's address through contact. When Chucky arrives at Andy's residence, he encounters the good guy toy that the lady has thrown. Chucky breaks the doll and hides it in the garden. He was doing it to take his place. Chucky pays them a visit. Andy examines the doll, and to satisfy his doubts, he checks his battery. He considers this to be a normal doll, and he keeps it with him. Chucky ties Andy's hands and feet while he sleeps. Andy wakes up, and he tells him that he would not leave him this time, and he begins his magic. Kyle enters the room and opens his hands. Andy informs him that Chucky has chased him. They all come to him, but no one believes him when he tells them about Chucky. Now the lady's husband has thrown Chucky into a basement, his nose has begun to bleed. Chucky realizes that his body is transforming back into a human once more. When Andy goes to school the next day, Chucky follows him and destroys his homework. His teacher punishes him by putting him in a room after the class. 